Hey everyone, we're finding limits algebraically and we're down to finding uh, the LCD, uh, using the LCD to help us find the limit algebraically. Uh, this is Nicholas JMV, so let's get started on our first example and our only example of this one uh, for this video. So there it is, the limit as x is approaching 0 of 1 over x plus 6 minus 1 sixth all divided by x. So again, what I want to do here is just rewrite, start by rewriting the problem. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So we have the limit. Okay, let me get my hand out of the way there. As x is approaching 0, okay, of 1 over x plus 6 minus 1 sixth all over x. Now, the great thing here is we're going to just mess with this up almost all the way to the end. The x is going to just hang out and go for the ride. So now we have two fractions, and what we want to do is make a common denominator. And the quickest way to get the common denominator, in this case it's going to be the LCD, is just multiply straight across. So you're going to have a denominator that's 6 times x plus 6. We're going to leave the x on the bottom alone. You don't want to forget that. Now, 6 times this. So what we have to do is really just cross multiply. So you're going to have 1 times 6 minus 1 times this quantity, x plus 6, okay? So we've gone ahead and done that, and now we're going to continue to simplify by multiplying that numerator out, distributing that negative. So you're going to have 6 minus x minus 6, all over 6 times the quantity x plus 6, all divided by x. Like I said, still working that numerator and doing nothing with the denominator. We get some terms that cancel out. We've got some additive inverses, right? So 6 and minus 6, so you get negative x over 6 times x plus 6, all over x, okay? And now what we're going to do is rewrite this. We know that negative x divided by 6 times x plus 6 divided by x. We're going to rewrite this now. It's going to be really the same thing, but we're going to use multiplication. We're going to say the limit as x is approaching 0 of negative x. So everything stays the same on the left there. But we're not dividing by x anymore. We're multiplying by 1 over x. Okay, And look what that does for us. Look what happens to the x values. They become 1, like terms. So now we're left with limit as x is approaching 0 of negative 1 over 6 times x plus 6. You go back to the very first rule of limits algebraically. Can I direct substitute? We got rid of our culprit, which was x. We plug in 0 here. You get negative 1 over 6 times 6. So the limit there is negative 1 over 36. So that's the limit as x is approaching 0 of our original function. It is going to be negative 136. For any questions or comments, please type them below, guys, and we will see you next time.